All right, today I'm going to talk to you about why our family went gluten free. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you why, the benefits, and the challenges of the process. We've been gluten free for nine years. Now, I still eat an occasional、um, gluten, but where I can, I definitely、uh, will eat gluten free、um, if that choice is or that, that, that option is available in the places that we go. In most places we go, we definitely do. So I, I think on date night with my wife, I, I cheat a little bit.、Uh, but for the most part, we are a gluten free family. And here's why we made a decision.、Um, one of our kids、um, was on the spectrum of autistic, but not necessarily was full blown, but a spectrum, right? And anytime, you know, she would, you know, well, well really, she would just be super emotional. And our friend Christy Chrysler、um, said, hey, I guarantee you, if you stop, Eating bread and anything gluten, wheat, you'll see a big difference in your child's behavior. Because she noticed, because her, her child was super autistic and she actually got him he, almost 100% healed from it and, and he was severe. And,、um, and she even wrote a book about it. And so, she, so I listened, okay, well, I, I see the fruit from your kid, so I'm going to try it on my family. So we began the process with just one of our ch- ch-、um, child, she was three or four years old. And oh my gosh, it was night and day difference. Literally, every time we would feed her donuts or bread or whatever, her emotional within 24 hours was just emotional, just wreck, just super emotional. And anything, any noise was hurt, you know, like she was like, when you would flush the toilet in the bathroom, she would cover. I mean, it was just crazy, just sensitive for everything. So, like, oh my gosh. So, you know, even stuff like breaded, like, you know, you know we love Chick fil A. And we would, get, we would give them chicken nuggets with just bread, it, not even a whole bread, right? And still, like any gluten would just set her off. And so we began a, a, a process like, oh my gosh, this is working. And then we started having more children, and we started noticing some of our ch-、um, children had eczema、um, and just and the same behavior thing, like we wouldn't eat gluten. And then we started to see this behavior just not in just one kid, but multiple kids. Not to say our kids are perfect, not to say that they don't have outbursts, but the Amount was so crazy, and we knew it when we go and do a special treat and just let them have donuts. Or, and we love to bake at our house, we always eat cake and cupcakes and you know, cookies and all that stuff. And we would notice their behavior would go bonkers and it will just last for a while. And so, when we went gluten free, that stopped. Obviously, they still have behavioral things because we still give them sugar here and there, but it was nowhere near what it is today. I mean, what it was then. And so that's why we went gluten free. And now we've been at it for nine years, and the results have been awesome. Behavior was manageable, the、um, no eczema, and right now, it, literally, if they, they eat gluten, well, some of them get eczema, itchy skin, dry skin, and sure enough, the ones that get the bad behavior have the crazy emotional roller coaster. And so it was a challenge. It was a challenge. You know, all the favorite restaurants we love to eat, all the places we like to. Dine at and treat our kids had to change. In fact, we, ate, we went to birthday parties, Lucy would bake them gluten free cupcakes and bring it so they can share our cookies or, and share in the celebration of. And it was, I know, it was challenging and it was more work, but man, the benefit from it. So, long, so we made the decision based off someone telling us, Christy Chrysler telling us,、uh, I'm sorry, her, her name now is、um, Christy Kennedy, is her new name. So, I'll correct that. Christy Kennedy is her new name. By the time we knew her as Christy Chrysler.、Uh, but Christy Kennedy is her name now. And we would, we would, we just listened to her because we trust her and we've seen the fruit. So, later on, we start to understand more of the science behind it. And the science behind it is that gluten, and I remember growing up, I ate bread, my family ate bread, and we were all all right because the food and the wheat. That was being made when we were growing up was way different than it is today. When you got GMO products, when you got these people trying to create these products that,、um, you know, that are they're called they're bigger, that, like the actual stock of the head of the wheat are actually shorter and bigger now. You can get more、uh, pro, uh, product, more produce from the, the, the current wheat. And there's certain places in Europe, I think Italy has a, a brand that you can buy that has the original old school wheat, right?、Um, and you can still eat that because the gluten, that has gluten, but the new gluten, the scientific side of it is there's, there's now, they created these hybrid glutens in, in the wheat. And because of that, 
it it literally our bodies can't digest it our gut can't digest it and that's why we have so many disease i mean look it up guys just say why is today's gluten wrong you know why should i not eat wheat uh, with gluten uh, or whatever just google it youtube it whatever and just start to begin to research why the, today's gluten is not the same gluten as we were uh, when it was when we were growing up and and i have seven kids and so we are gluten free and i see the fruit from now being 10 years into this and it's and then even from them getting sick um, them you know just being healthy um, they don't have they don't take medication none of them take medication uh, when we get sick it only lasts maybe um, um, several days versus weeks uh, you know there's all kinds of things that we do i mean that we get, we benefit from from not eating gluten and it's because again the, today's wheat is not the same growing up. It is a different wheat, and our bodies cannot digest the different glutens that it, it created um, with this GMO. And I get it. We're trying to feed more people, and I get it. Like I understand, you know, you know, they're trying to make them money, right? They're trying to get the cow as fat as again to get the biggest, you know, bank, you know, for the buck, right? You know, I'm gonna try. You know, it's like grass-fed beef, right? You know, you you try to they try to be grass-fed, and then at the end, what they don't tell you, you gotta get grass finished beef because grass finished beef is grass all the way to the time to harvest the meat where just grass fed beef just saying hey they were fed mostly grass and at the very end we get them corn 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 so we can fat them up and sell them for the most right and so again all these things are trying to make a profit right and so i'm not i'm not demonizing them per se i let you decide i'm not judging it i'm just saying what it is right and so our family got to benefit from that and the challenges again is because most restaurants don't get gluten free now. Today, when we were doing it ten years ago, no one even knew what gluten. You say you have to be any gluten free. They're like, huh, gluten free? What's that? Right? They didn't know. No, no one knew. But now, even cereal and you know and all kinds of things are now. We have all these great choices to eat gluten free, and it's become easier to now get your family to be gluten free. And the benefits of it is just awesome. Uh, and so. Now we're also doing dairy-free. I think we've been dairy-free for now three or four years. Maybe three, I'm sorry, three years. We've been dairy-free. Dairy-free is also a challenge, but there's also other products that you can use to not be, to eat dairy. And then you can do your own research on dairy. And I think dairy being dairy-free helps us get over sickness a lot faster than being in dairy. And again, I'm not dairy-free. I still eat dairy every once in a while. Um, but, I, but I have a pretty strong immune system anyway. But our kids, I remember when we were on dairy, we eat ice cream and all that stuff, and they would get sick for two weeks, three weeks. It was just linger and just a phlegm, and it was just crazy. And again, we cut dairy, and oh my gosh, not in day difference. Not in day difference. Even in the behavior, some of them, just two of them, their behavior was bunkers, was dairy even, right? Um, you know, and we won't eat ice cream all the time because we don't eat a lot of sugar in our family. And so, you know, we don't drink juice in our family. We don't buy juice. We just do water. Every meal we do water. Our kids don't. So when they have a, a juice, it's like, oh my gosh, we have, we got to eat, drink juice, right? Because juice is just straight sugar, right? And then we did research of that. So anyways, we do go f to get Frojo, right? We go get, you know, uh, Sherbert. That's what we do. We allow them to get you know, Sherbert. Um, you know, we allow them to do sorbet, you know, so we do treat our kids. We give them chocolate and there's dairy free chocolate and there's all kinds. They don't miss out. We have gluten free cookies. So we don't, you know, deprive them from eating sweets. But man, I'm telling you, research it for your family. From our family has been a blessing. We've seen a lot of great fruit from it. Um, and, you know, people say, man, why are your kids so behave? Why are your kids? Well, we don't just, you know, Teach them about Jesus, right? That's part of it, and that's great. But also, if we're, if we're feeding them crap, crap's going to come out. And so it, it starts with what you put in your mouth, and, and, and you process it, and the kids may process it, may not, but it's going to come out in their behavior. And so we do a lot more than just, you know, um, show them, you know, the light, right? And just, you know, discipline and being consistent and loving them and patient with them, right? But there's also things of how they eat and what they eat. And so that's why we decided... I'm not saying you need to be that. I'm not saying uh, you need to now all of a sudden be gluten free because you don't want to start fighting in your household and if you're not all a piece of it, it does take a lot of work. It's easier now than it was before, like I said, but you should pray about it. See if you need to be gluten free. See if your child is getting all these medications and all these sickness, all these things. Just cut the diet. Just no dairy, no gluten. Just do it for a month and see what happens. Get the, Let the gut, allow the gut to get healed up and be able to process foods a little better and not be overworked with not being able to process these glutens that we're putting in our body. 
Um, but research it. I just felt like sharing this information to you guys, and we've been at it again 10 years, so it's been great. Tell me if you're gluten-free. Tell me if you see benefits. Let's start a community to let people know, like, hey, this is what I do. Here's the foods we buy. Here's where we go. Uh, we have Whole Foods here. You can go to Trader Joe's or Sprouts. They all have gluten-free options. Um, you know, so Central Market, there's a lot of places that you can get that stuff from. It is more expensive, unfortunately, but there's ways to, to get around it to where it's, it, gets in, it gets inexpensive and you can actually become a gluten-free family and a dairy-free family. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you are gluten-free and the benefits from it. Aloha.